Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full face of black owned makeup. I'm so happy to be doing this tutorial. I got to play with some of my favorite products and you guys get to see this a bomb tutorial. If you want to see this entire makeup look, keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps support my channel and I'll see you in the tutorial. So I already started out with my sunscreen and this is the Unsun SPF 30 sunscreen. I applied this about an hour ago and then I'm gonna use the KNC lip balm I'm gonna go in with this super balm from KNC it's gonna help moisturize my lips while I apply the rest of my face <laughs> for primer I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty hydrating primer I'm gonna just apply this on my face and I would typically use the matte version of a primer but I don't have the matte one for this primer yet. I've been meaning to get it, but it's just been like, I didn't want to swatch it before I bought it, so I was waiting to get it in the store. So for foundation, I'm using the Pat McGrath foundation. I'm gonna mix it with my Fenty foundation, which is kind of empty. So, yeah, so I got some foundation from Fenty, and I'm gonna just mix this up and apply it to my face. My Fancy Foundation is in the shade 420, by the way. I'm gonna add a little bit extra coverage with the concealer as well. So this sponge is from Amazon, and honestly, I prefer my other Amazon sponges, the colorful ones, because this one feels a little rough. I may have ordered the wrong ones, because this one feels so, like, tough. Since I do have 420 in the concealer as well, I'm gonna add a little bit extra around my mouth area where I feel like I need more coverage and a little bit under my eye. This is not to highlight under my eye, this is just to cover like the darkness under there. That's what I like to do. And then I have some dark marks. I'm just gonna put this on my dark mark. I have dark marks everywhere, you guys. I say that all the time, but I really do, so I'm, like spot concealing but really it's like i'm concealing my whole face <laughs> i definitely want to get like laser like fraxel laser or that like laser treatment that gets rid of um acne scarring but it's so expensive so i'm gonna have to really budget that in somehow i'm gonna go under here in my eyelid so to add a little bit of highlight under my eye, I'm going to use 390 in the same concealer. It's just a little bit lighter and it's going to just brighten under my eye more. I definitely need to get the Pat McGrath concealer. I haven't picked it up yet, but it is definitely on my list. I have a lot of things on my makeup list to get that are black owned. I'm gonna go wash my hands and switch out this sponge because honestly, I'm not feeling it. This one is so much softer. Oh my gosh, you guys, like, wow. This one is so much better, wow. That other sponge was not good at all. Like, it reminds me of like something you would get at the beauty supply store, like those hard sponges. This one is so soft. And not too, too soft, but you know, the perfect amount of soft. I did let this sit for like a minute, so it's nice and tacky. To set my under eye, I'm going to use the Fenty Powder in Cashew, and this is one of my favorite setting powders. I feel like I'm going back and forth with Fenty and, um, oh my gosh, I just <sighs> made a mess. I just made a mess. I just made a mess. I'm going to use a lot of Fenty in this video because I just love Fenty Beauty. I feel like a lot of their products are so good. And I own a lot of their products, but I do have other brands to show y'all as well. I just have a lot of frenzy, okay? <laughs> I've seen a lot of new makeup brands, not new, but new to me, makeup brands that um, I haven't heard of before. I've seen posts that are sharing a lot of black-owned makeup brands that I never heard of before, so I'm really happy about that. Actually, I'm going to use a little bit more of this powder. I'm gonna let that sit under here while I work on my eye makeup, just to do a little bit of bacon. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm gonna work on my eye makeup now. I'm gonna use this palette first. This is the Island Gal palette from Prime Beauty. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna start out with Dulce de Leche, which is this shade down here. I have used this palette before, but I don't think I used it on camera. So I definitely went in on Beijing. I don't know what I was doing, but <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I've shown you guys this palette in my videos or if i did i didn't show it much i don't know but it's a beautiful palette and it is perfect for the summertime i'm gonna just blend this into my crease this color is pretty much my skin tone so you're not gonna see it much blend everything together we're all in this together everybody sing <laughs> All right, y'all. I was obsessed with High School Musical. I don't know about you, but I loved it. All right, I'm gonna use um, Rum Cake right now, which is a dark brown. And the reason I really went into this palette was to get a dark brown shade. So I'm gonna blend this into my crease like this. And just blend it in until it is completely blended. Have you guys watched the show All American on Netflix? Because it's so good. I actually was recommended to watch it about a year ago, I want to say, by a coworker, And I never watched it. I just saw, like, the highlights and it looked like football. And I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm interested in this. We never watched it until last week I saw it was recommended by Netflix. And I was like, you know what? Let's just watch one episode and see what it's about. So we watched an episode and we loved it, y'all. Like we literally watched the whole um, season in like a weekend. <laughs> and then we watched the other season. It's really good. Definitely recommend it to you guys. It covers a lot of different topics that we are currently dealing with right now. Well, we always deal with these topics, I guess. But like it covers all the different topics that you can think of when it comes to, um, you know, our world so I think it's a really good show okay rum cake I'm gonna take rum cake once again and go under here with it Next, I'm gonna use my new favorite palette. This is Pat McGrath's new palette and I'm obsessed with it. I love this new Pat McGrath palette. I don't even know what shade I wanna use because there's so many beautiful shades in here. I'm not gonna use this shade because I used it last time, but I have these four or five swatched on my wrist. I'm just gonna look at them and see. I think I'm gonna use the copper one today just because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more not natural, but yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use this coppery bronzy shade. Ooh, this is so pretty. I'm just gonna blend it in right here. I love it y'all it's so pretty wow all right I'm gonna take a little bit more and I just wet it with some setting spray to just add a little bit of extra extra ness and then I'm gonna take this brush again and just blend this nicely together And we finished. Okay, boom. I'm gonna use this black eyeliner. This is from Pat McGrath. I haven't really used too much black eyeliner recently, but this one is definitely my favorite. It's so good. It's so black and just like strong. I'm also going to use this Pat McGrath mascara. One thing I love about her black products, like the mascara, the eyeliner, 
is that they are literally black and i i love it like a lot of times things are not they're black but they're not like you know like black black the contrast that i get with products that are actually super super black is amazing like the contrast is perfect who is printing up a dictionary up there what is going on <laughs> I'm gonna use some bronzer. This one is from Prime Beauty, which I love, and this is in the shade Bronzeville. So I'm gonna just add some of this to my cheeks. I love this bronzer, by the way. It's really, really good. So this is a powder blush brush, so I'm using it for um, contouring today. And then for my cheeks for blush, I'm gonna use this blush called Bella from Juvia's Place. And this is the color, it's so pretty. I love it, so. Let me add some of this on my cheeks. I'm gonna add a little bit of bronzer. It's like a coppery bronzer from Beauty Bakery as well over like this area. I'm going to use this color called Anti Depresso, which is this this one right here. I'm going to add a little bit of that up here. It's going to add like a nice sheen. I guess it's kind of like a base from a highlight. <laughs> But it looks really pretty, so I do love this palette. It's really gorgeous. I'm going to use this Juvia's Place Nubia highlight, and I'm going to just apply it with this. This is a, such a beautiful, this is a really beautiful color. It's so pretty. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight here, you know, make that area pop a little bit more. Alright, so just line my lips. I used a non-black owned lip liner because I don't have any, unfortunately. I wish I did, but I don't. And I need to definitely explore that area of black owned products. For my lips, I'm going to use Control Freak from the Lip Bar. Alright, this looks so pretty. You guys were asking me about this color in my black owned haul and this is the color that I was wearing control freak by the lip bar I love it all right y'all so this is the entire look I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video bye